All right, YouTubers. Here's a quick way to set up your SDR trunk. Yeah, you go and get it. This is Beta 3. And forgive me, the camera's going to be shaky and stuff because my tripod latch broke of all times. But here's how you do it. Once you download the file, you'll need the SDR trunk software and you need the Zagdeg, this one here. Now, I've already installed it, but I'll show you what you need to do. If you're running two of your dongles right here, you got to do one at a time, put them in there and load the driver. So and every time you go to run your program, you have to put them in that exact same order. Or otherwise, the program doesn't seem to want to recognize them. But that's just what I found. Maybe yours is different. This is a pretty old laptop, so I don't have a new one. So, but anyhow... The process is going to be the same, but I'm only going to plug one in right here. Oops. And you got to make sure the USB is a little loose on here. There you go. That don't disconnect on you. And like I said, I'm only going to do the one, but you would do it the same way for each USB dongle. So go up here and you run Zagdag, however you pronounce it. And it's going to ask you, yeah. And it's going to pop up. Now, if it don't already show you, which it probably will, but go up here to Options. Click List All Devices. Do not load any driver except for the one that says Bulk Interface Zero. Okay? If you load uh, your sound driver and you load this driver in here, you ain't going to have sound on your computer. And honestly, I don't know how to go back and fix that. Uh, I had to go back and actually do a complete reinstall of Windows, so don't do that. So then you just hit, now I'm not going to install the drivers, but you click reinstall drivers. Because you want the driver that comes with your dongle, not this. Okay, so now we say you did it for both your USB, or your USB dongles. So we'll close that out. Now, once you got that done for both of them, go ahead and plug in both your dongles with your antennas on them. And I just unplugged this one, so I gotta plug it back in now. And there we go. You want to wait till you, okay? Now it took. You want to make sure you hear both the that it took and didn't disconnect on you. Now, what you gotta do is come up here to your SDR program. Like I said, this one's beta three. I got the beta five. I like it a little better. But this one does work, and like I said, bear with me because I'm doing this one-handed because my tripod broke on me. And you scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now the one you're looking for is right here. If you follow over, it's going to say Windows Batch File. That's the one you want, so go ahead and double-click it. And if you got your drivers loaded up right, this screen will hang for a second but it should go in a few seconds. If it hangs for more than a minute, then your driver's ending installed. Now, I've already got this pre-configured, so I'm not gonna auto start it, so I'm gonna cancel. So, when you get it, it's gonna load up just like this here. And uh, go to your tuners. It's gonna show you them right there, okay? If you click on one of them, you're gonna get that message there, because you gotta prime, you gotta transmit, and then you gotta receive. It's pretty much all you need to do right here. The main meat and potatoes is the beta version seems to, to run a little slower, but there's some cool features I like in it. But anyways, if you're setting this up, now it's going to ask you to do a calibration. Uh, the beta 3 takes advantage of your CPU and stuff like that. Um, do that after you get the thing set up, but actually let me go do this before I forget. You want to come up here and you got to update your Jubilee file. The other one that I had before, you did not have to do that. It did it by itself. But here, decoder JMBE audio. Click that. Check for library update. It's going to come up and you'll see something up here that says create library. Go ahead and click that. Let it update. This is what is decoding your stuff, your signals. Now, here is your calibration one after you get it all done and you know it's working then go in here and run that you can't have the program scanning for your channels just make sure everything is stopped and you just come here and just update that it it takes a good minute like i said or depending on how fast your computer is this one 
So 2014. So anyhow, now we got that Jubilee decoder added up. So we go to our playlist, go to channels, and you come over here to where it's going to say new. Okay, you click that. You want to scroll all the way down to your phase one. When you click that, then you will end up with something like this here. And you can put whatever you want here. System, site, cop, main. But that's what you want here is your control frequency. So I live in Richland, so that's my control frequency. I hear Mansfield, Ontario, uh, police, sheriff. All the EMSs that I don't want to, but no way of getting that out of there with the free stuff. Uh, the prison institutions, I can hear them. You, you, ODOT, you hear everything. So, then once you get all that done, and you'll put that in there. Click Add, and then you're save. Or, well, you just type in, don't hit Add, that'll put another one. But if you go to Radio Reference, uh, one of my other videos, the main control frequency is going to be in red. That's the one you want for your area. Don't put that in there unless you live in the Mansfield area. Of Richler, you ain't gonna really hear nothing unless you got some really good antennas. So after you get all that done and saved, if everything is correct, when you hit the play, oh, make sure you're in C4 FM when you go to radio reference, it'll tell you it's only gonna be one of the two for your frequency here in Richland. It's C4 FM. LSM is a multi or simulcast, but if that frequency is for your town and area and if it's LMS, you've got to click that one or it ain't going to do anything. It'll just set up over here in this corner here and say idle, or if it does work, you're not going to hear nothing. So for Mansfield, Ohio, it's C4FM. So and then you click save after you change anything on here and then start it. And then you can come back out here, go to now playing. And there we go. It may take it a few seconds depending on your antennas and where you're at, but if you see control, call, active, and this is bounce around, you're seeing your streams, make sure your little icon here is unchecked. Now, by default, this program sets your sound and stereo, but that could give you an overlapping echo effect, or it could just be too much overwhelming. Come up into your setting there, it's up there in your view to where we have where you can calibrate it and go in there and change your uh, to mono and then it should work fine. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And like I said, just repeat the process. Whenever you go to run your program, you'll want to put your one you did first, first, and then second. Otherwise, this gets confused. All right, hope this helps.